Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I'll be doing a hydrodynamic science project based on the Archimedes principle. My objective is to determine the diameter at which an aluminum ball of equal mass sinks. Hi, my hypothesis, if I decrease the diameter of an aluminum ball, the aluminum ball will sink because the density increases as the diameter decreases. What is the Archimedes principle? Archimedes was a Greek scientist who discovered that there is a buoyant force that pushes up on an object when you place it in the water. The strength of this upward acting force is equal to the weight of the water that was moved out of the way. If the weight of the displaced water is small, this upward pushing force is small and vice versa. What determines an object will sink or float? Whether an object sinks or floats, it depends on its density compared to the density of water. Density is the mass per unit volume. And there's an equation there too. Materials used. Paper towel, large clear bowl, tap water, heavy duty aluminum foil, ru a ruler, scissors, marker, and a hammer. So right here I have the experiment. So here are three aluminum, uh, four aluminum balls which are made out of a 25 by 25 aluminum sheet. So right here you have this aluminum sheet. So how did I make this ball? So what I did is I grabbed all four corners of these uh, of this aluminum sheet and I put it into this, the middle, and then I crumpled it up. Once I crumpled it up, then I measured it and I specifically saw if it was around five centimeters, four centimeters, or two centimeters, or whatever centimeter. So right here I have this first ball and it is around five centimeters. Now I have the second ball here and it is three centimeters in diameter. And then I have the third ball and it is two centimeters in diameter. And now I finally have the fourth ball which is one centimeter in diameter. So now I'll be putting these in the water and seeing how much it's going in. So here I have the five centimeter ball or the first ball. So now I put it inside the water. It seems like it is 10% inside the water. Now the second ball, which is three centimeters in diameter. So as you can see here, this is around 23% inside the water. And now I have the third ball, which is two centimeters in diameter. So right here, it seems like it is 50% inside the water. And finally, for the first ball, which is one centimeter in diameter, or the fourth ball. So it seems like this has gone 100% inside the water or it has sunk completely. So here are the results for all four of the aluminum balls. So right here, you can see all the measurements, if it's sunk or float, and how much it was inside the water. In conclusion, my hypothesis was right, that if I decrease the diameter of an aluminum ball, then the aluminum ball will sink because the density increases as the diameter decreases. Yuzahakala for listening to my presentation.